folks. My name, good afternoon. Uh, my name is Ronald Bibes, and I'm going to be giving you a little talk on a book called Relationship Power that I wrote. And it's going to hopefully give you insights into relationships that you never had before. And it's going to help you find an easy way to improve all your relationships. So that is the proposal. At the end of the lecture, you will tell me whether, in fact, you think I have achieved what I'm trying to achieve. Now, we all know the importance of good relationship. Is there anybody here who doesn't? There, okay, so the answer is we all know the answers. The next thing that most of us don't know, and even the experts who have long lists apparently have trouble finding, is what does it take to make a good relationship and to create it and to keep it? Now, what I like to do with these little sessions is to ask, okay, individual people, if they have any idea. In other words, most of us have, uh, some of us are old enough to have children or close relatives or friends. And if anybody comes and says to you, what do I have to do to have a good relationship? Do you have an answer? Let me do a show of hands for answers. You have an answer? Yes. Okay, what is your answer? I would say um, you need um, open communication. Open communication. Trust. Trust. That's a Open communication and trust. Any other ideas? Acceptance. Acceptance. Any other ideas? Forgiveness. Forgiveness. What? Magic. Magic. Okay, it's a little hard to kind of focus. <laughs> you can't define that, but it's true. Okay. you okay. have to have the magic of attraction. You don't have to work at the relationship too much, except that what she says is right. Okay, and, and, it's uh, and any other suggestions? Okay, so. Oh. so uh, now we're going to, you see, you, you've come up with a few situations, a few shall say, examples. We, I have here two books. One is Men are from Mars, Women are from Venus, and the other one is The Seven Principles for Marriage, for Making Marriage Work. And these guys, Gottman and Gray, are both doctors, PhDs, experts in the field. And if you listen to them combined, they have 125 things that you're supposed to do or not do, okay? You have to be kind, you have to be considerate, you have to be supportive, you have to be honest, you have to be trustworthy, you have to be trusting. They make you long, long lists, and then you have to not blame and not criticize and not and not and not. And this, you have to be a memory expert to remember them all in the first place. But now I'm going to give you the simple test, which is the reason I wrote the book. And the test is this. I want each of you, in your own minds, to make a list of the three people who make you feel the best about yourself. OK? And, and signal when you have done that. The best about yourself. Tell me when you have done it. Raise your hand when you have made the list of the three people who make you feel the best about yourself. You've raised it, raised it too. Michelle, have you done it yet? Okay, have you? Yeah, I've probably got two. The third one I'm working on. Okay, and uh, the young lady in the back? You have, have you got the list of the three? I've got two. Two is good enough. So now, I want you to make another list. And the second list is the list of the three people with whom you have the best relationships. Okay. And it shouldn't be too hard. No, oh, because it would be the three people. Well, two or three, if you only have two who make you feel the best about yourself, you can send it for two. The question is, have you made the list of the three people with whom you have the best relationships now? Okay, now, the question is, are the lists identical or near identical? Identical. Identical, identical, near identical. Now, what have you just learned that is the big, most important thing on relationships? What was the second question? The, the first question was, which are the people who make you feel the best about yourself? Okay. And the second question was, who are the people with whom you have the best relationships? And you have just found out that the two are virtually always the same. So now, you have found out the most important single key to good relationships. And that important key is, if you want 